egoism and loneliness egoism is loneliness it is cowardice however cowardice is not essential part of ego instead it is the whole of ego and it is bound to be so because the ego lives in constant fear of being exposed remember ego is always afraid of being exposed it is empty within and also non essential it has only an appearance but not reality and whenever something is only an appearance a mirage and the fear is bound to be there at every corner of it any moment it can be exposed in the desert you see the mirage from far away it looks so real that even the trees standing by its sides are reflected in the water which does not exist you can see the trees you can see the reflection too you can see the waves in the water and also the reflection shimmering with waves all from a distance as you come closer the mirage starts disappearing when you are at a distance you see the the shadows the light forms and you see the reflection as you come closer the mirage starts disappearing there has never been anything it was just a by product of the sun rays being reflected by the hot sand of the desert so the hot sand and the reflection of the sun rays become the cause of the mirage in this reflection and the sun rays returning the mirage of an oasis is created but it can exist only when you are far away but it cannot exist when you come close as you come closer it begins to disappear then there is only hot sand and you can see the rays of sun being reflected back it will be easier to understand in a different context you see the moon you see its beauty and you see its cool light but the first astronaut was shocked because as they came closer to the moon there was no light the moon was just a flat barren piece of land without any greenery or life it was a dead rock but standing on the moon when they looked at the earth they were amazed the earth was radiant with beautiful light in comparison to the, that light the moon and its beauty is nothing because the earth is eight times bigger than the moon so to its light is eight times more intense all silver and the astronauts knew that this was all false but they were seeing it it is not there but a strange thing happened when they were on the earth they were seeing the beautiful silver light shimmering from the moon as you all see and we see now they were on the moon and it was just a dead rock and the whole beauty was radiating from the earth and they knew the earth they have lived their whole lives on earth they had never seen anything of the sort to see the reflection of the sunlight you need a distance the earth is also radiating the moon is also radiating when the sunlight comes some of it is absorbed by the earth or the moon and the most of it is reflected back that reflected light can be seen only when you are far away from the source the earth or the moon otherwise you cannot see it the ego is a non existential phenomena the people who are farther away from you can feel it see it and can be heard by it your only concern is that they should not come too close everybody is keeping everybody else at a distance watch it on a day to day basis everybody is keeping everybody else at a distance because to allow people to come close means opening the doors of your emptiness 
opening the doors of your inner treasures. The ego does not exist and you are so identified with the ego that the death of ego and the disappearance of it feels as if it is your death. It is not so. On the contrary, when the ego is dead, then you will know your reality, your essential being. The egoist is going to remain cowardice. He cannot allow anyone to come close. He cannot allow closeness of any kind, friendship, love or even companionship. The more egoist a person is, the more he has to remain lonely. And to be lonely is miserable. One has to pay the price. You have to pay for a non-existential ego to appear real. With your misery, with your pain, with your anguish. And anyways, even if you succeed in not allowing anyone to be close to you, you yourself know perfectly well that it is just a soap bubble, a small pinprick and it will disappear. This is how ego is. Sufis call this as nafs and they have explained it much more in details, different types of nafs which I will take at another time.